people, it is show and tell Thursday. Yesterday, I finished cleaning this guy up. I got him grouted Tuesday night, I guess. And he is ready to go to the bathhouse art mart. So that is weekend after this uh, at the bathhouse. Uh, yesterday, I shipped off several of these big Tommy holiday cards. It is Christmas time and people are starting to shop in my Etsy shop. If you're interested in some big Tommy cards, I'll put a link below this to my shop so you can check that out. So yeah, I'm just finishing up stuff, trying to get ready for a sale. It'll be my last sale of the season, so come out and see me at the bathhouse a uh, weekend after this. It's like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, this weekend I'm doing a necklace, mosaic necklace workshop in the studio. That should be fun. It's full. Um, it's a little more than full, so that's good. Today I'm going to show you what's on my work table and I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's these little, I'm doing these little ornaments for the tree and they have a little ball chain hanger and little silver washer on the back and this is one of them in the beginning stages of production. So a I wanted to talk today a little bit about production uh, for those of you who make things to sell. With mosaic art, um, when you're doing a substantial sized mosaic piece, it can take you weeks and months <laughs> really to finish something because you're cutting tiny pieces of glass and if it's a pretty big substrate that you're working on, you can put in hundreds and hundreds of hours. When you're making things to sell for events, sometimes people buy those larger mosaics and that's really cool, but it's also nice to have some smaller things on hand. And when I do little things like this, I kind of work them in production. I'll do, I'll lay several out and I'll do all the eyeballs and beaks and wings. And then I come in and I work on tiling it, glassing it in with little pieces. And then I do all the, you know, I'll do a batch of chains at the same time. So I break it down into steps. And so eyeballs and eyeballs and wings and beaks, that's one step. Glassing it in, that's another step. Uh, spray painting the backs of them so they're pretty, that's another step. Um, in the chain, that's another step. So anyway, take you over there to the table so you can see what I'm talking about. Hey guys, here is the table, work table. Everything all laid out. And you can see there's some birds over here that have their wings. These guys are almost done. I have to add in their tail. Um, so I have this little piece here that's going to go, um, oops, excuse me, going to go right here. But as you can see from this guy, he needs a little Millie Fiore. So I'll come over here to the Millie and find some turquoise pieces or something. And as you can see, even though it's a production line, each one is different. Each one is unique. So I am doing them in a rather production fashion that's all repeated. And some of the cuts are repeated, but some of them are completely different in terms of how I cut. Uh, you can see some of them have bigger eyes. They're all different and um, yeah, I think they'll be nice on the tree. That's what I'm working on today. Uh, you can see over here there's some older skull pieces to go with the orange skull I just showed you guys. That's what I know. This is my work table. And um, I'm going to be working on these guys today. And I will post uh, information below about the sale. So if you're local in Dallas, you can come out and find me at the bathhouse. Thanks.